Okay, in this video we're going to look a little bit more closely at how to use those if uh, conditional statements. And we're going to set up an assignment where it's going to generate a, your chip is going to generate a random um, number between 1 and 10. And then if it's a 1, it's going to generate random text. If it's a 2, another text three and other texts, so to generate code names, for example. So we want this to happen, I suppose, on some kind of input. So maybe if you press button A, then it starts this process. And it's got to generate a random number. So we don't really need to, um, I suppose we do. We've got to say uh, random number. Okay, so we're creating a variable called random number. So when you press button A, it creates a variable called random number, and it's going to assign a value to it. The moment it's assigning the value of naught, I could change that to 5 manually. But what I really want is under maths, I want that pick random number, naught to 10. So when you press button A, it's going to generate a random number between, let's say, 1 and 10. So that there are 10 possibilities. And then each number is going to have its own kind of like code, like to generate the code of the day. So if we as secret agents need to communicate, we need to generate a code for today. What's the code? What's the password for today? So I can then use my logic and I can use my if. So it's always going to be if the random number is something, do something, else do something, else do something, else do something. So I just click open many of those pluses. And then instead of true, because if true means nothing, if true, if what is true, it's, it's a meaningless statement. We don't know what the what is. If the random number is one, then it does something. If the random number is two, then it does something else. So under my logic, I've got these comparisons. So if something equals something, I go to my variables and I get random number. So if random number equals one, then do something. And I can just go to this little um, um, comparison block and go duplicate. And I can just add them for each one. If random number is one, if it's two, if it's three dogs barking, it's early in the morning, everyone's walking. If random number is four, just remember I've got to let the cat out. So please don't let me forget that. If random number is, whoa, is five enemy close so as you can see I just go on and on and on so what is it if it's random number one then it's going to do something and obviously what it's going to do is it's going to show a string so I can just duplicate that so if this is a program for generating passwords then I would just keep on adding these strings and the password for today is um, dog. The password for tomorrow is cat and today it's hamster and fish and um, rat and lizard. See how it works? So if I go to my program now and I press button A, okay, it's spelling out something. I couldn't quite see what that was. Let's try again. R-A-B-B-I-T. So all you would need is press button A. It creates a variable, random number, sets it to picking a random number, 0 to 10. And if the random number is 1, it says this. Else, if its random number is 2, it says that. 
else, if the random number is three, it says that, etc. Until you've covered all of your 10 cases. You've got one to 10, so you need 10 possible passwords to generate. Nice little project, I think.